High value sales, yeah, boom. The Ad Show. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another sales update. So today we are going to do a sales update over on the main store. So this isn't going to be a documentation video for the second account, although I will be doing another video on that in the next few days. So stay tuned for that. This is actually going to be a higher value sales update. So I've taken over the last few weeks a few of the higher value items I have sold on the main store. And I thought it would be interesting to do a sales update in this format because potentially you can see some of these items. You can go out to the charity shops, you can go around the car boots, you can go around the auctions and you may see these items and obviously then you'll be able to make yourself a little bit extra money rather than just that kind of bread and butter range as I call it between sort of 10 and 20 pound. So we have got sales ranging from about I don't know, 20 quid, 25 quid in this update, all the way up to about 130, 135 quid. So it's a massive range of value. I hope you enjoy this video, guys, and we will get on with it straight away. So here we are with this first sale here, this soft plush BBC Hacker T-Dog hand puppet. You will have seen, or you may have seen in a haul video, I paid five pound for this in the charity shop. I went over and I looked at it and I thought, oh, that looks like decent quality. It looks like a decent quality plush toy. And I realized, it was a puppet and I actually typed it in on eBay in the shop and I realized I could get 30 to 35 quid for it in that sort of range and so I was more than happy to pay a fiver for it it went within about two weeks so I'm more than happy waiting two weeks to turn a fiver investment into 35 quid more than happy with that lovely little item and yeah really good little profit on that so yeah can't complain with that one next we have this uh, Lego Star Wars Jabba's Sale Bars 2013 75020 new and sealed retired set now I didn't get 159.99 for this I actually got around 135 pound because I sent uh, sent a few offers to a few different watchers and one of them came back and obviously accepted that offer so yeah about 135 quid on this plus the 649 postage obviously for some reason eBay when you accept offers it doesn't actually show it when I'm when I'm showing you my sales in this format on this screen here it doesn't show the offer price that's been accepted and it really annoys me because obviously you guys can't see the exact price that it's sold for so as I say I'm obviously going to be genuine and honest with you and say that I didn't actually get 160 as I say I got around 135 for this now the brilliant thing with this item is the job lot that it came in it came in a job lot about a year and a half ago something like that and I have sold through a lot of that job lot and this is one of the last things to go I'm already in profit on that job lot so this is going to be 135 quid minus my fees and my postage and all the rest of it is going to be pure profit which is really really nice really really cool I actually had this just stored under my bed I kind of have a few items I don't know whether other people do this but I have a few items just tucked away for kind of a rainy day and although it wasn't like a really rainy day or anything, I thought, you know what? Sales haven't been incredibly brilliant. And this is just sat under the bed. I may as well just get some money out of it. So that's exactly what I did. And I still have a few of those items left. I still have a few sort of video games consoles and, and things like that. A few bits of Lego that I keep away just so I've got a little bit of something, a little bit of cushion. If, you know, if for whatever reason, you know, maybe sales are slow or possibly some big bill comes along that I don't know about. And, I, you know, I, I would like to get a bit more money in so that and it'll help pay for that. I mean, this year I've had crazy bills with the car um the bloody uh dentist and stuff i've had a lot of dental work done and stuff in fact I've, I've i've spent a lot of money on dental work this year so yeah it's always good just to kind of get some money out of these items so it helps pay for those things even and i know it's not the best thing just getting money out of things and end up spending on bills but such is life sometimes so anyway but that's that one uh next we've got this vintage mark marks toys shoots away air target game box now i believe i, I don't I don't know whether I got 107.99 for this. I think I actually got about 95 plus postage. So if we include the postage, it's, it's just gone over that 100 pound. Um, but yeah, I think I got about 95 for this plus post. Uh, really nice game, but unfortunately there was there was a lot of wear to it. It was obviously a vintage game. Uh, there was a few bits wrong with it and stuff. I think there was one thing that yeah that that lever there. I think that lever.
lever had broke off. I don't know whether you can see that, but there's a yellow lever at the side, and that had actually broke off. So there's a few little bits and bobs wrong with this, but still a really sought-after game, really nice game. I'd say not 107, but possibly about 95, I think this went for, plus the postage. So, yeah, really, really happy with that one. This came to me in Well, no, it wasn't an auction job, but I think it was on its own in an auction, and I believe I paid £20 plus commission for it. So would have been about 25 quid. I did have it for a while, um, but you can see, see there, there's still a little bit of a margin in it. There's still a decent margin in it, 25 into 95 plus postage. Not the best margin, but still something in it. And I did just take a chance on this at the auction uh, back a while ago. So I was a little bit like that on this one. Oh, have I done right? Have I done wrong? But yeah, it turns out it sold in the end and I still made some decent profit on it. So can't really complain on that one. Next, we've got this to wealth to will for i don't even know how you pronounce that brand of puzzle i've never been able to pronounce it romantic supper large six six thousand piece jigsaw puzzle of venice and it's brand new and sealed 24.99 i showed this in a haul video now for the life of me it's it is only a recent purchase this actually i didn't get it too long ago when i say recent purchase i mean maybe a couple of months ago but to me that's quite recent um so yeah, it wasn't ages ago, but I can't for the life of me remember what I paid in the charity shop. It was either two quid or four quid. It wasn't more than four quid, but yeah, either two quid or four quid on that into 25 quid. So yeah, really, really happy with that one. Nice little sale there. Nothing really to dwell on too much. Next, we've got this five pack TDK, TDK 244 hour VHS uh, video cassettes. Um, and as you can see there, $29.99 on these. Uh, really, really happy for this little set of, uh, yeah, it's five pack. Um, so yeah, 10 quid I paid for these. So I did pay up in a charity shop. I saw them in the charity shop. In fact, I actually uh, didn't buy them the first time I was around the charity shops. And then the next day or the day after, I actually ended up going to that same town. And I went down there and I thought, you know what? I should really just pick them up. So I did pay a tenner for these, but I did manage to get 30 quid out of them. I wouldn't say they took forever to go, but they weren't a really, really quick seller as well because I think that's around the top end of what you can get for these TDK TDKs on eBay is about that £30. So yeah, I mean, I'll have made, I don't know, 12 quid, 13 quid profit, something like that, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. So it's still going to be something, um, but I wouldn't really pick them up for a tenner again. Uh, it's just because obviously I went back and I thought, you know what, I think I'll actually pick those up and I went for it. But yeah, that's those there anyway. Next, we've got something really nice. Vintage Bre uh, Bretley Ware Mandarin Green Glazed Chinese Dragon Water Jug uh, Ewer. $29.99 plus postage on this little jug. Really nice looking little jug this. I really did like this. It's quite an interesting little thing. It's something I've not really seen before from Bretley Ware. It's something a little bit different that they've done. And I paid six quid for this in the charity shop so again i paid a little bit more and i really wasn't sure whether six quid was too much or not but i just whacked this on for 29.99 now it has taken a while to go obviously the pottery i always say to people with pottery be prepared to wait a while but don't sacrifice yourself on price because obviously you know put a decent price on there but just wait a while and someone will come along and buy it there is the chance i might have been able to uh, get maybe 34.99 or 39.99 on, on this who knows i really don't know whether that buyer that came along would have paid an extra tenner or not they may have done um, but yeah 29.99 with plus postage from 6 quid took a while to go as i said but i was more than happy to just wait on that and then obviously see it go really nice to, to see that go because i really did like that item next we've got this art house vintage wallpaper four rolls vienna motif white number uh, 528101 matching batches now i actually sold two of these to the same person so that's why they're on the sales update um so 19.99 times two so about 40 quid on these plus my postage of course really really happy with these glad to see these go these have been in in there for ages they've been on ebay for ages they've been in my storage for ages just i'm so glad to see these go now i don't even know what i paid for these because it was and uh, these have been on for two years these have been on for a long time these have been on for ages so i really don't know but i think for how many years was it was it eight i think i might have paid around a pound a roll or something like that 50p or a pound a roll in a charity shop but i don't know i, I honestly i haven't a clue um but let's say 10 quid as a maximum something like that into the 40 quid plus the postage 
I'm happy with it, it's okay, but obviously considering these took so long to go, I wouldn't really be picking them up uh, again, to be honest, unless I was getting them very, very cheap, 10p a roll, 20p a roll, something, I might consider it, and maybe if it's a different pattern number that's a little bit more desirable, I'm not sure, I may consider it then, but yeah, 40 quid to the one buyer on those two sets of these, so that was really nice. Lego Speed Champions LaFerrari set 75899 retired rare collectible set. This is really a pretty rare set, obviously, to get brand new and sealed. A lot of these have been opened now. A lot of these that you find uh, on eBay or on Amazon are in used condition. Obviously, people are still selling them new, but there's not as many of these out there new anymore. And that's why it commanded £45. This originally uh, retailed about, I think it was maybe 2015, something like that, um, at £13. So this set has gone up massively in value over the last few years. I've actually, I actually bought a few did I buy a few of these to invest in possibly I did buy a few of these to invest in back when I was doing more Lego investing in a bigger way um but yeah so 45 quid on this one I paid was it six yeah it was 6.99 in a charity shop not long ago as well so this didn't take forever to go it, it went fairly quickly but yeah 45 quid on that one from 6.99 in a charity shop more than happy with that and this is where that specialist knowledge comes in if you know that certain things are valuable and and maybe you know they're in a certain niche that other people don't know of then you have the upper hand around the charity shops or around the car boots because other resellers other dealers might just leave them there and not realize that they're actually worth a decent bit of money because if someone saw this lego set in a charity shop for seven quid that might put them off because they may be thinking this is just oh that's just a 15 quid set or something because they don't realize it's a retired set but because I knew a little bit about the market, a little bit about Lego, I knew that this was a decent item. And so I managed to turn 7 quid into 45 quid. And it's a prime example of trying to find a niche and get some good knowledge on that niche. As well as obviously being a little bit bored and stepping out of your comfort zone and selling other things as well in different niches. I always think of myself as a bit of a generalist. Um, of course, there are certain niches I know a little bit more about. But at the end of the day, I, I don't limit myself to one thing. I always pick up different things as well and I think that's the best way to be be a little bit of a, of a specialist in a certain niche but also be a little bit of a generalist and 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 use the two in in relation to each other I think really but that's just my advice so yeah that Lego Speed Champion set really good Alan Moore Tom Strong graphic novels collectors books this was one two three five and six so it was missing book four but I still managed to get 50 quid on these this was from that job lot that I showed on a live haul video not long ago at all um, from obviously a contact I have and I paid 160 yeah it was 160 pound for a load of stuff loads more stuff than this and as you can see just on these alone I've got 50 quid so I'm almost a third of my way back of, of getting my money back so obviously this will just go towards paying for that job lot but yeah some really really nice items in that job lot if you haven't checked out the haul the live haul it'll be on my channel the thumbnail literally says live haul so you should be able to find it pretty pretty easily and it's it's not that far back in my videos really to see all the items in that haul obviously if you'd like to so yeah 50 quid on those really really nice now i don't really deal with that many graphic novels but i pick them up here and there and to be honest it always surprises me surprises me how much you can actually get for certain graphic novels it's incredible certain graphic novels just even on their own can command really really good money uh, it's a big big collector's market and not only that people love to read them as well uh, it's not necessarily just people collecting them and just sort of sticking them away on display people actually really love to read these and love to obviously get behind them so yeah really really good to pick up some graphic novels if you can if they are the certain ones that do well as well so now we're on to the last item and this is just a slightly lower value item really or, or lower end of the spectrum really uh, vintage Kasparov club chess set by goo Google, Google, I don't even know how I pronounce that. I don't know actually. Did I show? I can't remember now. Did I show this in a sales update? I don't know. No, I don't think I did. I think I'm. I think I'm thinking of when I couldn't pronounce that on the whole video. But yeah, if I have showed this in a sales update, I apologise if I'm repeating myself. But yeah, 30 quid on this one. I paid a five on the charity shop, as you will have seen in the whole video. Didn't take too long to go, actually, this one. I was thinking this might take a while to go, but it only took you know, two or three weeks, something like that. So yeah, five quid into 30 quid. Nice little margin there. All day long, I'll do that. And uh, yeah, really, really nice 
looking a little light and there, uh, a nice little margin on it. So that will do it for today's video. If you did enjoy, if you did this, enjoy this kind of higher val value sales update, then please do whack a like down below. If you haven't already, then please do consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one, guys. So I will see you very soon. Slow down.